All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a cool color background to your movie poster or album cover. Let's go ahead and start by going to File, New. And since this is our movie poster or our album cover, we'll, of course, change it to inches. And we'll do 8 by 11 if you're doing a movie poster, 8 if you're doing a CD cover. And make sure you put the resolution to 300 and your background contents are white. I'm going to go ahead and click Create. So I've dropped my subject into the canvas now and already cut out the background and I put her in here because I want to use the colors in her outfit to create my background. So what I'm going to do is use the colors from her dress. So I'm going to start <clears throat> excuse me, by double clicking on the foreground color, which is this box right here. And this cursor, this color picker box will pop up. I'm just going to move my cursor out here to like a light colored part of her dress and press OK. Then I'm going to come double click on my background color box, which is this one right here. I'm going to click on a dark part of her dress. And then press OK. And that gives me a light to dark uh, foreground to background. Next, I want to choose the gradient tool, which is keyboard shortcut G. And you can right click on that. Sometimes it chooses the paint bucket tool instead. So just make sure you're on the gradient tool. Then I'm going to come up top here and I'm going to choose this very first box. This is the foreground to background box. And then I want to choose a radial gradient, which is this one right here. So I got all of those things set correctly. Last thing I need to do is just make sure that I choose my background layer, which is this layer right here. And now all I have to do is just click and drag, and it's going to create a real gentle gradient that fades from light in the middle to dark in the outer edges. And where the light shows up depends on where you start. You can see if I start up here and click and drag down here, the light starts up there. If it starts, if I start here at the bottom and click and drag up, it starts down there. Well, I wanted that to be right, the light to be right behind her face, which is why I started right there, clicked and dragged down, and that gives me the bright spot behind her head and it fades into the darker yellow as it makes its way out. And there you go, that's how you add the cool color gradient to your background.